So the video you're going to see next is our trip on, was it Allure of the Seas? Yes, Allure of the Seas. With um, Royal Caribbean. You're going to show, I, I, I have it with, you know, we did a, little, I did a little tour, walked around, blah, blah, blah. But we want to discuss how the, how the trip was, how the cruise was. So we went on Allure of the Seas, and yeah. we thought that... It's a huge ship, 6,000 Well, it's a people. huge ship, so we were really excited because we've never been on one of the big ships. And we really thought that, hey, we'll get a suite because we have four of us and our kids are bad and they can't be on their own suite. And he was hoping to get lucky. So we got a suite because yeah, otherwise the, we'd have to split up into two rooms. you see the video why nothing happened. We got on there. Um, one of the things that was a little disappointing because it's hard to compare because our last cruise was on Norwegian Cruise Line yep. and we stayed in the Haven. And like going on Norwegian, like we met Mr. X. Mr. X took us to our room. Like we got past through customs. He's concierge. Yeah, and he's just like, come on this way, I'm Mr. X. And we thought at first he was full of it and, and kind of thought, you know, he was just yeah. playing with us. But then we went to our room. So when we got on Royal Caribbean, we got on and we went and we didn't, you know, like they said, oh, yeah, your bags will be in your room before you get to your room. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool because, you know, we spent a lot of money to get on there. And we got up there and the rooms were all sealed off. So you couldn't go in. So we said, ah, we'll go to the sweet restaurant, which was what? Something kitchen. I thought it was the Haven. No, no, Haven's no oh, region. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Something kitchen. Yeah. It's some kind of kitchen it's called. The sweet kitchen. No, I don't know. Who knows? And we went there. We had lunch. Lunch was pretty decent. And we hung out for a little bit, and then the room was open. And, and then as soon as we decided, well, the suitcases weren't there, we were like, oh, we'll go do something. The minute, I swear to God, the minute we walked out the door, one suitcase showed up. And I'm like, yep. oh, well, we'll just unpack this because I can't leave it. And then it all the rest of them showed up. Yeah, as soon as we unpacked one, another one came up. And then another one. And then another one. And so, anyway, so we got unpacked. And then we decided we were going to go explore the ship. And we went and explored the ship. And checked a couple things out. I was very smart and made sure I had a massage that first day at 3 o'clock. Their spa is spot on. Really nice. The only thing I would say is while I'm in the spa trying to chill and relax, they're doing spa tours. And I swear to God, I'm sitting there in the little chair, feet up, relaxing to music, zen environment. This is our relaxation room. <laughs> and I said, I got 20 people walk by and looked at me while they held their sign up. I'm <laughs> going, all righty then. <laughs> Someone needs to be videoing this crap. But when I got in and got the massage, very nice lady was fantastic. I made some purchases, came out, and then we went to dinner that night. Yep. And how was dinner that night? I'm trying to remember which one it was. I don't remember the first day. It was... Was it Was it the thing where they were supposed to... No, it wasn't 150. We dressed up. Was it the thing where oh, they yeah, cut yeah. the meat up? Oh, yeah, yeah. or whatever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Brazilian steakhouse theme place. Sure. Now, if you live in Tampa, forget about it, okay? Don't even bother booking it on Royal Caribbean because in Tampa... What's the name of the place we go in Tampa all the time? You have Google open up. Just type it up. He's typing right now. We have a screen right here. Look. Terragucha. Terragucha. So if you live in the Tampa or you take the cruise out of Tampa, don't even bother on Royal Caribbean going there. Book an extra night in Tampa, go to Terragucha. It is way better than anything the cruise offered and about the same price. And you will just be in heaven compared to what they offered. So we went there. It was kind of eh, meh. It wasn't that good. It was meh. Yeah. It was, you know... It wasn't their main dining room because last time we went on a Royal Caribbean cruise, we were really disappointed in the main dining room. The Sweet. main dining room was really cafeteria food. So we made a point to book it, the restaurants throughout the entire time. Oh, Coastal Kitchen. That's what it Coastal was called. Kitchen. Yeah. So let's talk about the food because we didn't eat. I didn't eat. At Did the you eat Coastal Kitchen? No, at the Windjammer at all. Oh, I ate one day at the Windjammer. It was god awful. And it's on this ship, it's. It's too crowded. There's like you walk and there's an island with some food in it, and then it's just. I don't know. It like was it. too crowded. Too it was people. cafeteria food at its best. Yeah, and it's a lot of people. And that was shit. it. And I've been cruising for more than 20 years, probably 30 years, and I'm used to having really nice cruises because we've started. We started out when there used to be the big red boat and we went on Carnival and Royal Caribbean and now Norwegian. You know, and I had been to the midnight buffets, all this fancy stuff. So well, now it seems like Royal Caribbean's kind of taking a step back. And maybe it's my opinion. I don't know. But 
It wasn't my favorite. The Windjammer, we went one day and we never went back. It was just packed. I, I, the food wasn't great. I like the Windjammer on the other ships that we went on. Oh, yeah. And the smaller ships, it smaller seemed ships to be better. Are, it's all like in one row and you just go down there. It, and it, it seemed like they had more choices in yeah. at the other ones. But this one, <clears throat> definitely not. And the, we didn't eat at the main dining rooms, any of the main dining rooms either. No, because the last time we were on, what was the last ship we were on? Like, um... Freedom of the Seas or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, last time we went to Freedom of the Seas, we ate in the main dining room every day. And we have three boys that travel with us. And we have four children all together. And the three kiddos were, like, very disappointed. Like, even desserts were, like, granola. And they're like, what is this? Yeah, I got they're the, used I, to Bananas Foster yeah. and Cherry's Jubilee and getting shrimp and steaks. Yeah, it wasn't good. And it was, it was just very much... It, it, everything's been kind of pulled back. And I get it. It's the economy, but... Yeah, wow. And mm -hmm. after going, you know, our last one was on Royal Caribbean, and we had some fantastic food the entire trip. We were like, oh, okay, maybe this is just not. And we, we just tried to lure the seas thinking it would be so much better because it's the big ship. Big new ship. Yeah, it's well, the big newer thing. Ship, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the next day, um, we tried to do some of the stuff on the cruise. And the next day was a day in the Bahamas at NASA, and everybody got off. Yep. And we thought, well, this would be a perfect time because we've been to NASA a bunch of times that we'll stay on the ship and try stuff. Wonk, wonk, wonk. They closed a lot of things. Yeah. Like, their swimming pools, for example, they have, I think they advertise five swimming pools. Okay, that's 6,000 people on the ship, and the swimming pools have a capacity of 21 to 25 people each. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So, they closed the swimming pools, and you couldn't go swim. Um, a lot of the climbing walls were closed. The zip line was closed. It was just like there was nothing to do on the ship. You had to get off in NASA. And we, you know, we've been to NASA. We didn't want to go to NASA again. So that was very disappointing. Our kids did enjoy. They loved, and you'll hear from them, basketball court and ping pong. But, you know, they can do that at home. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. And then that night we went to um, Chops Grill the second night. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, thought was, I thought it was 150 no, no, Central se Park. Second night was 150 Central. Yeah, he's so right. It only happens once in a blue moon that he's right. 150 Central, we went the first time. Yeah, and 150 Central was nice. Was we good. dressed up. They did ask, you know, it's supposed to be formal attire. And a lot of people no. did not do formal attire. There was one lady, and I swear to God, I have a 13-year-old boy. And he's like, Mom. And I'm like, yeah, I saw it too. This woman, like, had her boobs on the table. I kid you not. Like, she was dressed in a, probably about two sizes, two small sundress, and just popped that baby up on the table. And my third year was like, I could not not look, Mom. I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's okay, baby. I feel it. Mind you, my kids at 150 wore their suits, and I wore a nice yeah, dress. dress Even my husband dressed up. Yeah. You know, he, this is usually the extent of dress This is up my here. dress clothes. Yeah, yeah but he shorts. wore a tie and the whole nine yards. Yep. The food was good. The service was fantastic. I highly recommend... 150 Central. I would not say of all the restaurants that we ate in, um, it was probably the second best. Yep, I agree. Definitely the second <clears throat> best. Yeah. Hey guys, I just wanted to stop this video for a second and, and I'm editing it right now as we speak. And I noticed this part that I wanted to talk about and I didn't uh, about the food. On other ships, I guess if you went to the main dining, you would, you might get this experience. But I like when I was on the other ships when we went to eat. You would um, be sitting down, and you can see the ocean and waves and stuff like that. You have a really nice view um, of the outside, and if, I mean, it felt you felt like you're on a ship, moving and eating on the ship. It was was kind of cool, you know. It's, it's it's a novelty, but the way the Allure has their restaurants set up is that all oh, the specialty restaurants they're all in Central Park. And you look out the window and you see like a fake park. So I wasn't really happy about that. You know, people walking by. I mean, I could have been anywhere else in, in the world. It, 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 it didn't matter. I didn't feel like I was on a ship eating, going somewhere, doing, you know, doing something like that. So I was a little disappointed in that. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I, I think this is probably going to be the last time we go on one of these big ships centered like that. I think we're going to start going on the smaller ships. Um where because I like you, you go on the on the cruise, on the on a big ship to be on the water and see the water and do all that kind of stuff and and have something different. I don't want to go 
to a restaurant and feel like I'm back home sitting in a restaurant. So that was my one. That was another complaint I, I had. Um, I just wanted to stop the video real quick, put that in here, and continue on. Thanks, thanks for watching. And then day three was what? Our day at sea, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because we went to Nassau. It went in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, somewhere. we just kind of sat out. We there. Sat out there for hours, and then went to. And Cobra day Cabra, three yeah. was just <clears throat> crowded, overcrowded, overcrowded. It's too many people. They had the activities. We wanted to do karaoke. Every time we went to karaoke or any of these activities, you had to get there at least an hour in advance. Yeah. People were sitting on floors. It was just bad. Um, and day three was formal night, so everyone was supposed to dress up. And that was crazy. Um, you know how you like to get your pictures? There were lines. They had, like, Disney lines to get pictures. I have pictures. He's going to post the pictures in here so you can see them. But it was really not, it was like, wow. And we realized at this point that this was probably not the cruise we would have wanted to choose for our family. Yeah. But we did go to Chops that night. And Chops has always been a favorite. And I would say it did that not disappoint. That was by far the best. Yeah. And it was a good meal. It, it actually probably was a better meal than, usually we say, oh, you know, Charlie's in Tampa's better. But I would say this time Chops. The steak was really good. This it's time, probably better. I think. Yeah, I think this time chops was better. the The appetizers, the salad, the dessert, everything was just really, really good. Our kids ate until I thought they were going to pass out, but yeah. they didn't. And <laughs> we wish they would. Have. Yeah. And so, but that was great. And then um, the next day was Coco K, which is one of our favorites because we've been there a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. We went on the so we didn't go to the beaches or any of that stuff. I can't imagine what it looked like. There was two ships there, one with six thousand people. The other one probably had what was the other ship? Two or three thousand. Adventure of the Seas, which is probably another three thousand people. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody gets so anyway. Um, so we didn't go to the normal. We went to the thrill park, and as soon as we got there, we went on the tubes and the whatever raft slide. You you hold things and. After that, it was packed the whole time, and there was we like hour, hour and a half waits to get on stuff. <laughs> they have the big slides. I didn't even try it because the, the the wait was way too long. I didn't even want to try it. And I think that's one of the disappointing things because we've been to Coco Cay so many times, and usually we get off the boat first, and we did too with the Pretty suite. Much, we yeah. get well, the suite's really neat. They take you straight down on the elevator, and you go right away. However. Even getting there right away first, there was still lines. line. There still people, yeah. And then by the time we got down the slide once, the lines were, like, huge. It was crazy. Yeah. Everything was just so packed, so overpopulated. And it was just kind of, it was sad for us because we'd been there and it had been so much fun previously. And now we're like, mm. And there's no guarantee if we went on a smaller ship, we wouldn't be there the same day that one of the ship. big ship was going to be. And now, they're, now I hear her letting, was it Celebrity? Cruise lines, mm -hmm. it's, I guess it's part of Royal Caribbean. They're having those ships go there too. Yeah, so, so I don't know Coco Cay has always been fun, but I think we've kind of run the fact that it may not be somewhere we get to go anymore. And then that night, were we supposed to go to Sabor, but we changed the Mexican restaurant? We were going to go to Sabor because, okay, so Sabor is outside on the board, boardwalk, which is super hot. And it's super hot. It's in, in and between. This is June. Yeah, it was, or July, it's, early yeah, July. Yeah. And it, because the middle of the ship's open, you know, you can look straight up and you have, um, you, you'll see the video. Rooms here, rooms here, and it's a big opening, but there's no way for air to go through. So it was super hot there, and we canceled that, and we went to Giovanni's table. Yes. So. And our kids dipped out on us. They said. Yeah, they dipped, yeah. They we, were like, yeah, we're not going for a time. We're done. We're so going to go play. So it's Italian. The food was, eh. It was real. It was more like fast food. It wasn't that good. Olive, I've had better at Olive Garden. Yeah, and and they were like the service was very much fast food. What do you want? like getting a drink was like a big deal. Oh, and they like it was rushed. Everything was rushed. They were running around. Like yeah. they were really running around. And it was kind of crazy. The, food, seems the odd. food was eh, man. Yeah, the food. Was it was good. like like I said, Olive Garden. Like he said, I didn't say it. He said it. Olive Garden. Yep, yeah, that's my. Um, view. the service was. Eh. It was just very rushed. Everything was rushed. Whereas, like, Chops was just such a more of an experience. And you got to, the waiter was very personable. And the same with um, 150. 150 yeah. That was very personal. 
Not so much. The guy did go outside and get your drink, though. That was nice. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, I think he rolled his eyes when I ordered a drink. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, because apparently they don't have a bar in the restaurant, so they have to walk outside, outside. in the heat, mind you. And I, I the guys you know, dressed up. Yeah. Oh, we should talk about drinks. Well, I didn't drink. I drank whatever. all of it. She drank all of it. I had sips of her drinks to, t- to taste See? it. Okay. And. Uh, Okay, so if you buy the drink package, just know that Royal Caribbean has gone to using a lot of mixes. So if you are used to, like, I, I'm from Florida, we can get some very fantastic drinks. We have a lot of good sport spots here where you can get a lot of mixologists and just a fantastic margarita. The margaritas were god-awful. It was a mix and tequila, horrible. So I asked them to make me a homemade margarita. 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 And <laughs> I took it, I was like, Oh, uh, try not to make a fist. My God, it's great. Walked away and had to put it down somewhere. There was no consistency from bar to bar. And they have one drink menu for every bar. Yes, they do. Where, like, used to be that you could get certain drinks at one, but no, not. The best thing to do if you're going to get the drink package is order drinks that are not on their menu. Like, I started ordering Dirty Shirley's. And they're like, oh, okay. Actually, not bad. But if you order anything off their menus, they were horrible. Yeah. And 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 they were really not. They were like under pouring, except for one bar, the bar by the um, water events where you go and watch the water, yeah. the the diving thing. That they over poured to the point it was like didn't taste good. Yeah. So, but that's one of those things. Like I like to drink. I have four kids, and he's my husband. Uh, you laugh, yeah. but. It's- pray for me i like to drink <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> he's like trying to change the subject but there's a reason for my drinking um you want to talk about the so that sort of drink sucked oh my favorite thing though what can you, can you do you remember my favorite thing the i was going to talk about the the things to do on the ship okay so Next. go ahead tell me so about my favorite thing. her favorite thing is the flow rider yes you get to see so, a video of that. yeah there's videos of that on Ooh. there we're doing a video. You want to be in it? Okay. Look at this is this is one of our children here. Yeah. How'd you like um, the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas? Get mm-hmm. your face in here. Yeah. What do you mean? Then? I don't like it. What did what did, what did you like? Um, the teen stuff. That's it. Well, tell us about the teen stuff. What did that look like? There's a bunch of activities. Like? Um, you did the karaoke. Um, did you get to karaoke? Oh, you did. Oh, was it in the teen, area? the teen area? No, no, no. It went down to the um. Did okay. you have to sit on the floor or stand? You could, you could sit, stand up. The mic place? You didn't have to do it. But yeah, Did you get it? Place. Yeah, but was it really busy and packed? Yeah. yeah. Um, they hosted, like, um, dodgeball stuff that you would have to go to get to the teen club, get a, um, a wristband so you can participate, and you have to have um, closed toed shoes, like no Crocs. They have to be tennis shoes, basically. Um, that's it. Okay. That's what you like? So you like karaoke and dodgeball? How about the food? You don't like the food? You don't like chops? Well, it's the specialty restaurants. Anything else is not that good. Only the specialty restaurants. They had the place next to the basketball court. What was that was place? That? Did you go over there and eat? The they tacos. Like tacos. Yeah, it was tacos. You didn't like the tacos? I had one. It was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Say what you really mean. Well, and you got to understand, we, you know, these guys are used to eating like authentic. Mexican food, and we we also have a lot a really great Cuban restaurant. So when they went out and they kind of got, it was like school cafeteria food almost. High school cafeteria food, yeah. Yeah, it was a little disappointing for them. So, um, but you guys play a lot of basketball. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to play ping sport. pong? Ping pong, yeah. But there's only two tables, so yeah, you have to. Did you swim at all? No. How come? There was too many people there. In yeah, the it was swimming. packed. So if you like going swimming, I'd suggest not yeah. going on What was my... Day. Okay, so Dad couldn't remember what my favorite activity was. What was my favorite activity it on the ship? just said what your Flow favorite... Flowrider, yeah. yeah. just said what it was. She made you do it. Stop. I made you do it. How, can you describe how I did on the Flowrider? Awful. What? I have a video. I have proof. Way? Right here. Get in the video. I have a proof. You're moving my chair. Okay. It's, it's, it's... So show off your muscles. He's got muscles. He th- he smells bad too. He's a teenager. No, I don't smell bad. I take shower. Okay, that's good. So so you, I was bad on the full rider. Yeah. How did that she, work? St- she stayed on there the longest. I have proof. It's on the it's on the. Yeah, but if, I actually, proof. if I actually wanted to do it, then I'd stay on. Okay. Okay. Oh, if he wanted to. If he wanted to do it. Watch okay. this. That is so sigma. <laughs> and there he goes. 
Bro, you do too much. You have to do a lot of editing on this. Nope, not editing it. It's all. all going up just it's like going this. Up 20 minutes and my battery, the battery's almost dead. Oh, 20 minutes. Uh, the the mm. things to do on the ship. So you got the flow rider, ping That was pong, fun. I loved it. Uh, basketball. Um, the, I took a picture of the zip line. The, the zip, zip line, line, the line was like around the top deck to get on yeah, the zip it's, line. It's in, the, it's in this video. Yeah, the so video. it was kind of disappointing. That was... Us. At one of the at sea days, or so? I don't remember what they yeah. Day was. Well, and the problem is that there's so many people again, yeah. And a lot of the venues are smaller than what we've used to been seeing on the old on the smaller ships, yep. So they put all this stuff trying to pack it all in, but it's just smaller. It's like they try to do more like open spaces and, yeah. and stuff like that. And then the the central park, it was very pretty, but it's very it's hot. hot, hot again because it's in between like basically two towers of. Where the elevators are, and then the sun's just beating. Out. There's no air. So the zip line, we didn't do the zip line. It looked, it looked, uh, it looked okay. It just went like on an angle across, and you could see down in Central Park. Or no, the boardwalk, right over yeah, boardwalk. Board. Oh yeah, oh the boardwalk. You could go down there again. Really hot. Not a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, you could ride the merry-go-round if you waited in the line. The merry-go-round, yeah. Um, so the zip line, we've been on zip lines before where it was like a lot scarier, like in the woods in Honduras. So I'm like, I'm, I don't care about going to zip line for it takes two seconds. Wait on a line for, I don't know, 40 minutes and for a two second ride, I didn't really feel like doing it. Um, the rock rock wall, uh, nobody wanted to go do that with me. I probably would have done that if I could have got the kids to go. How are you going to do that? I'll do it and have my shoulders break. But Okay, I, I so like he's it. got... Okay, lift your shoulder up no, right now. No, no, I'm fine. He's got like no rotator cuff and his bicep muscles not attached, but he's going to climb the rock wall. I'll climb You're the rock right. wall. Allure of the Seas did not have water slides. No, no water slides. No water slides, which is fine. It's not the end of that the That show, all right, the shows. So the, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, could, you could also do ice skating, which we've done before, and you have to wear long pants, and we didn't have one. Long pants. That yeah, I, to I refuse go. to wear long pants. It was like July yeah. in the Caribbean. You got to be out of your mind to be wearing long pants. Yeah. Um, yeah. The show they had the one show where they have like the diving the water show. That was good well. For it was a, while. a little. It was a little frustrating because again, as a suite, they're like, oh, you can get reservations, but not really. You have to get there, get in line first. Yeah. And it didn't make any. We had sense. a res they had reserve seating. That yeah. was on a bench, not chairs. Yeah, you had to sit. Yeah, it was like, uh, whereas we, when we come from Norwegian Cruise Line, the way it works there in the Haven, so if you don't get a chance, and I'm sorry, Royal Caribbean. I used to be Royal Caribbean all the way, but it took me one cruise on Norwegian. They, like, take you from your room, and Mr. X, and what was that, Joy? What did we go on? Joy? Joy, yeah. Yeah, we went on Joy. If you go on Joy, ask for Mr. X. He's in the Haven. And that's race cars. He, he, like, yeah, his race cars. He liked that a lot. He would take you with his magic key and take you down to the show. Poof, done. Yep. If you wanted to go down to a restaurant, poof, down, done. Oh, you're getting off the ship to go on an excursion? Dude, Takes down. you right down there, right down to the floor yeah, you want to right go. Yeah, right down. Right down. No problems, no everything. Yep. The only time that happened was getting off the ship for Cook OK. Yep. And then we were leaving the ship. That was the only time they really did that. Other yeah. than that, they had limited hours for their concierge. Um, the concierge were nice, don't get me wrong, but the level, you know, they never came, you know, like you're supposed to have someone that comes and work for your stateroom and stuff. We did have a stateroom attendant, but we didn't have the concierge. When we were on the last cruise with Norwegian, we literally had the guy's card and we could call him up and say, hey, what's going on? We need X, Y, and Z. And it was yeah. done. And he came the first day and explained everything to us. There was like no communication about, hey, this is what we can do for you. You know, we kind of figured it out as we went, which unfortunately for us and them, it just wasn't that great. The room service was good. Oh, yes. That My kids okay. love the room service. Yeah, they got room service every night for their um, 11 o'clock meal. So we have, we have two of our kids have ADHD. So when their drugs wear off, they're ravenous. And they just got to eat, eat, eat. So that's like 9, 10 o'clock at night. So they were ordered five or six meals, and it's included when you have a suite. Uh, and you know you just tip and it was they ate it all first of all there's just plates every morning empty plates but it was really that was a very nice i would say their room service was really good yeah i like how they have the ice cream oh 
ice, ice cream <laughs> was not ice cream. The ice cream was not self serve, and it was over. It was on the pool deck, and you had someone stand there, and they they had um, different hours. It was whatever the hours were. It wasn't like open all the time. So that was kind of you know. That was a lot of the, the theme was things just weren't open. Yeah. You you know it just wasn't there. It wasn't open. It didn't happen. Um, the shows were. Shows were okay. They were okay. The comedy show was okay. Um, we couldn't get into most of the comedy shows because the reservations were actually sold out. Before we got it. Yeah, 45 days before we even cruised. Yeah. Like, I got the notification and I didn't immediately log in and make reservations with a suite, mind you, paying the extra money. And by the time the, it was, I got a notification on Friday, by Monday, most of the stuff was sold out. So we couldn't, we just couldn't see stuff. And that was kind of sad. And it again, because the venues were too small. All right, what else? Any, what else? Uh... Um, it's a pretty ship. As long as, you know, you don't mind overcrowding, waiting in line. Meh, entertainment, meh, food. The ride was nice. It didn't even, uh, it's basically a huge, huge hotel. Yeah, our room was gorgeous. The there was, was a nice. couple, of, a little, a little, like there was some maintenance stuff. Um, I think like we, we had the loft. And yeah. up top, there must have been a flood at one point in time. Yeah, they didn't fix the floor, so you yeah. had, like, the floor was buckled up. Yeah. And there was just little maintenance things, but nothing that... I, had everything else been a lot, I'd been like, oh, this is fantastic. The view was fantastic. I did love waking up and hitting the button to open the windows. Open, yeah, that was cool. Uh, they had some outdated stuff. I don't know why they don't just take it out. They literally have these old chargers in the room where you put your phone on, and you can play music off it. had a speaker... Except for the gen, it was like so old. Generation you one it. iPhone. Yeah, you couldn't use it. Would you suggest that going on a Royal Caribbean? Well, one of these big Royal Caribbean ships. No, no, no. I think if we go on Royal Caribbean again, it would definitely be one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I like the smaller ones. Uh, we were much happier, but it wouldn't be a Bahamas itinerary because Coco Cay is just done. I've been there it, so many times. Too. Well, and it was always fun until this time. This yeah. time it wasn't fun because it was overcrowded. Yeah. And with it being overcrowded, if you can't enjoy I guess the beach and you can't enjoy the rides, because that was one of the big attractions, because you pay like eighty dollars a person to get into the water park. Yeah. And then you, if you have to wait an hour and a half to ride a ride, because they, I mean, they have quite a few water slides. It is a small water park when you compare it to some of the big parks available in Florida. It, it doesn't make sense to go there. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense to spend the money and go there. So I would not go on Royal Caribbean again to Coco Cay because they've, they've kind of, they've overpopulated the area. Yeah. And it's unfortunate because it used to be a really nice destination. Well, unless, just, unless somehow you figure out that there's two small ships going there. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm the sure you could figure, I guess you could do the homework. Yeah. That would be something he would do. I'm not going to sit there and do that. I wouldn't figure that out. I have to figure much. out how to get all the kids to pack all their crap in one suitcase. Right. And then not forget stuff like motion sickness medicine. Oh, that was a debacle. You forgot about that. It's, 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 it's in the video where I Oh, his motion around. sickness, yeah. yeah. I forgot the stupid uh, drama meme. <laughs> the man who gets sick, like, just looking at a boat or standing in the ocean. <laughs> I forgot the drama mean, and then I go, oh, I'll just go buy it when we get on the ship. Except so much. The, the, the store open only can open when the ship's out of port and leaving, mm -hmm. so while while it's moving. And you're supposed to take that medicine like an hour before you start moving. So I found some uh, Tylenol or something. <laughs> I took that. I don't know if that did anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I could have just taken some Smarties and did the same thing. <laughs> The placebo effect is yeah. real. And then uh, the store opened, I bought it, whatever, and then I was fine. Yeah, it was just a little frustrating because they said, I'll go down to medical, but then we went down to medical. Medical was closed. Yeah. Then they said, oh, you got service, will help you. And they said, no, you got to go to medical. So he kind of, he literally ran around for probably the first two hours on the guy, The guy, at the, the guy at the, it, there's people who was stopping you from going into guest services and seeing if they could help you. Before you get to the guest services, he goes, oh, no, go down to medical. So medical's on two. I went all the way down to two. And then I came up and I just blew past that guy afterwards. And I went and just said, you know, I, I need something for motion sickness. All right, we have this. And that's what they gave me. Tylenol? Tylenol. I'm like, how's this going to help? Yeah, there you go. And that, well, I, I guess that sums up the cruise. You, you need something for motion sickness? Here's some Tylenol. But, so, you know, overall it was an experience. You can say we went on the big ship. We had a beautiful room. 
you know, that was very nice. It was relaxing. It was quiet. <clears throat> Good room service. Great food. At, uh, had a nice, um, what do you call it, outside? Balcony. Balcony. Nice yeah. balcony. They had like two... Um, Chase Lounge chairs there. That was pretty good. Good words. You yeah. used your words. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was a nice size. Coastal Kitchen was decent. Um, decent when right. the day we were leaving, it was overcrowded, of course. Yeah. And they didn't have a way to accommodate people. And they ran out of food a lot because you had to use their little, they had a buffet there, but it was just kind of, eh. Again, yeah, meh. Yeah. It was a lot. It was very underwhelming, more than anything. You, especially when you look at the amount of money that you pay for a suite and to be at the, you know, those different levels. Oh, and then yes, when you get a suite, you your bags get separated and put in a special spot too. Yes, they do. Yep. So that was easier to get our bags. We weren't mixed in with everybody yeah. else's. Well, it was a little bit different because we when we um, the, what they did for you was they say oh priority de disembarkation. So what that means is you get an elevator ride down to everybody else. Yeah. And so then you go out. So it wasn't really, you just got the elevator faster more than anything. Um, when, like I keep saying Nor Norwegian, and I'm sorry, but on there, they literally had someone walk us out to customs. Yep. And at customs, we were met, we went through, and we and like they had people, if you wanted, they would take your luggage to your car. And that's, that's a hack right there. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. We had this was this was on when we went on the other cruise, not this cruise. This cruise we just carried all our bags. We had more bags last time. I think it was longer. Oh well, yeah, we went for like eight days. Yeah, the other one we had more bags. This was a five day cruise. Yeah, so we had four or five. So we had six bags. So that wasn't that that bad for four people to get all our bags. So we just did it ourselves. But the other one, I mean, last time we we had the guy put all our bags on the, on the cart, and we just there was a huge line huge line to get to go through customs we just walked right up he goes go stay with your bags we just stay with our bags all the way right out yeah it was really and nice because like, you, oh, cool. you went through you got through everything that was worth it yeah, yeah that was well worth it and then and it was just a more of a streamlined thing i mean allure of the seas like i said pretty ship and i think what the reason that they're doing allure of the seas and i think it's oasis seas now is coming to florida with the shorter cruises is because we realized on day three it was a mistake yeah and I'm thinking that it, can you imagine have been on there for seven or eight days? Yeah, of yeah, trying to of trying to do things and and every time you got there, yeah, and like you literally would have to sit and wait an hour in advance. And we're di we've been to Disney many times. Yeah, and you know we have fast passes at least at Disney, so you can plan your day. There was no such thing on here, yeah. and that's that's a, you know kind of a big deal because you want to go on a ship, you don't want to sit there. and and wait in line you want to relax you want to mosey on in and find a seat yeah, I don't be crowded and pushed around yeah. you know so I, there was a, there was never there was no time like the the best was i think this and i know this must be making us old but the silent disco <laughs> are you kidding that's a new thing that's it's a new, a new, that's thing. A new that's thing, thing though the stupidest but stupidest thing ever i wanted to go in there but somebody didn't want to go with me because I it's to go check out. stupid. I, I think it's probably stupid too, but I, I want. Yeah, to see it would be a, probably a good video to watch people with their headphones on going, "I want to rock and roll all night." <laughs> That's what they would sound like because they can't hear themselves. Yeah. And you how know, are you interacting with anybody? Thing, I, I said this. I, I'm, I'll, I'm going to say this in the video, but I can say it here too. I liked how the casino wasn't in the oh, middle yeah, of something. Oh yeah, the casino where, was kind of cool. Where you. We have to walk through it all the time. This casino, you didn't have to walk through it. You could go. You could. You could have been on the whole ship the whole time, not even though there was a casino there, because you had to like actually probably go out of your way to get to the casino. Yes. So the, the casino was pretty cool because it like it, they had a smoky and a non-smoking casino, which yeah. was very different. Yeah. Not, not that neither one of us. We're not real big gamblers, but no. you know that was kind of neat because. One of the a lot of the older ships. One of the things you have to do is to get anywhere, you kind of have to walk through the casino. Yeah, and so you'd have to go through it. And they say they're not smoking now. A lot of them, no, but they stink smoke. because yeah. they, you know, they have that old smell. And we don't smoke, so that's just. Even though the one ship we went, I remember there was one ship we went on. The the casino was below us, and you could just smell the smoke coming up on the next floor. Oh, could you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, even this one, when they had that that little spiral staircase that you would go down, as soon as you start walking down, you can smell yeah. smoke. Oh, and I think another thing is a lot of the events were like 10, 15 minute events. Like they'd have, oh, we're going to have this game show, 15 minutes done. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah. It they, was very abbreviated. And 
if you look at the number of crew members to the number of people on the ship, the ratio was really awful because there was a lot of lines, a lot of waiting for drinks, food, all that stuff. So it was just kind of, again, meh. It wouldn't be my, it wouldn't be my choice to do again. It wasn't the worst vacation ever, yeah. but wasn't to us not a value for the money. Yeah. All right, that's it. All right, cool. Enjoy Ed, the video. Edit you know. away.